Yeah. How long you been there? I don't know. A while. Right, well, I'll make a tea for us then after I get out of the shower. Ta, I'm sorry I messed up again yesterday. Yeah, you're all right. Don't mind me. I'll stick kettle on while you're there, girl. Uh, so, how are things with you two this morning? <sighs> Pretty sure I'm still in the doghouse. Not your finest hour, if I'm honest. Yes, thank you. You made that perfectly clear yesterday. Having said that, he'll get over it. You reckon? You made a mistake, but he still loves you. That's the more important thing. You look smart. Thanks. Just uh, keep up appearances. I was tempted to just wear a tracky to see that I could call his face. You up too much today? Not really. Why don't you go for a walk? You get out of the flat. Yeah. Although I was thinking I might um, start tidying up Olive's room. All right. You think that's a good idea? Well, I've got to start sometime. Why don't you wait till I finish working? No, I'll be fine. Anyway, you don't want to be late on your first day back, do you? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking I might go and see Sam after work. Be back about seven if that's OK. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Say hi from me. You're as bad as summer. You what? Always on your phone. Oh, well, you know me. Attention span like a goldfish. So you're doing much god bothering today? Uh, I've got to pop into the Christmas stall, and then I've got a meeting at three, and then um, surprisingly bother-free day. Well, enjoy whatever it is you get up to, and uh, I'll see you later. Is everything okay? Yeah. Why do you ask? I don't know. You um, you just seem a bit worried about something. Has anything happened at work or at the helpline centre? Like what? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I'm sound, honest. I'm just, you know, just dead busy. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, uh, I uh, best be off. I'll see you later. See you. Look at There must be twenty quid worth of used nappies in here. Well, what do you want me to do? I can hardly gaffer tape the bum cheeks together, can I? No, oh, it's just everything's so expensive. We've still got Christmas presents to sort. Jules has been banging on about wanting an iPad. He reckons most of his mates have got one. Yeah, well, most of his mates haven't got four little brothers and sisters to get presents for. That's true. <sighs> Talking of money, how's the makeup going? Have you sold any more recently? No, I haven't done yet. I did go down that new fitness centre. You know, not far from here. I've got loads of interest, but I've not been back yet. Why not? Because I've been working. I'm covering shifts at the pub and I've been minding five kids. That's why not, Chesney. All right, I wasn't having a go. I just want us all to have a really nice Christmas, that's all. So do I. All right, then. Well, why don't I get someone to look after the quads this afternoon and then you can go back to this fitness centre, try and get some orders sorted. Who are you going to ask to look after him? Right, we've run out of bog rolls, so I'm just going to bob down the shops. Do you need anything else? Someone turn the volume up? Oh, yeah, me. Nick's gone out, so I thought I'd make an executive decision to crank it up and play some sick tunes for you. Come on, music playing. It's good for morale. Not mine. I'm trying to work here. Fine. I'll turn it down, then. Oh, yeah. How's things? Mm. <sighs> you did any more from that will? No, he's, he's not going to touch her. Well, it's probably for the best. Yeah, I guess. You're still worried about him? Yeah. And I feel bad because I still haven't told Billy what's been going on. Don't beat yourself up about it. You were just trying to help someone. Yeah, I know. I just don't like lying. If you feel that bad about it, why don't you do something for him? Like what? I don't know. Surprise him. Cook him a nice meal or something. That would be a surprise, especially with my cooking. <laughs> Get takeaway, then. Have a chilled night in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll think about it. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Am I ironing? Are you sure that's a good idea? I'm not a total moron. I have used one before, you know. Yeah, I know. And you hated it then. Still do. So why are you doing it then? Because I felt bad about yesterday and I wanted to make it up to you. 
I what? Ironing my grundies? Yeah. Hey, and a vacuumed and all. It's like I'm a real housewife. Oh, yeah. Are you still angry at me? I'm still angry at you. Mm, what for? For breaking into the bistro? Or for getting a teenage kid whose dad's an alky hammered? Uh, no, I'm not angry with you. Seemed like a good idea at the time. But now I know it wasn't and it won't happen again. Mm. I am really sorry, though, you know. And I know if it was anyone else having to put up with this, they'd have bailed on me a long time ago. So I just want you to know I really appreciate you sticking by me. I don't think I could have got through it without you. Well, you know what they say, sickness and health and all that. Right, I'm going to make a sandwich or something before I get back to work. Sure. How's he doing today? Well, I was hoping you could tell me. Has anyone said anything about trying to wake him up again? Well, his blood pressure dropped overnight, which suggests he might have an infection. So we're going to keep him sedated while we treat him. An infection? We don't think it's anything serious, so try not to worry. We're keeping an eye on him. Afternoon, Mrs Barlow at DS Willits. I was hoping he might find you here. Well, have you got news about who attacked Adam? Uh, no, that's um, an ongoing investigation. Um, this is related to another matter. I'm sorry, I don't understand. It's about a watch that uh, Miss Bernie Winter alleges she sold to you. Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't really doing much. <laughs> so, what did you want to see me about? I'm worried about Leanne. She's coping with everything. Why? Has something happened? Uh, she's really keen for me to get back to work. Oh, I, I get that. We've got to carry on, like, uh, you know, move on with our lives. But um, I get the feeling she doesn't want to be around me or anyone else for that matter. Like, she's got to pretend that everything's OK. I don't think she should be on her own. But you know her better than anyone. All right to be worried? Yeah, look, you're, you're bound to be worried after what she's been through, after what you've both been through, but... I just think she needs some time on her own to try and come to terms with losing Oliver, you know, to grieve for him. I just want to help. You are helping. Trust me. I've been trying to call you. I went to factory. Oh, sorry, I left my foot. Are you all right? No, no, I'm not. It's Sam. He's gone missing. Have you had an argument or anything? No, um, I thought he was in his room, so I went to check on him, but he'd gone. Has he ever done anything like this before? Once. Um, he used to be closest lad in his class, and about a year ago he moved to Scotland, and Sam kept going on about wanting to go and see him. Then one day, when he was supposed to be at school, he was caught trying to board a coach on his way to see him. Right, maybe I should call the police. Well, I already have. OK, look, I'll go back to the flat, uh, see if he's come back there. Yeah, look, I'll check Victoria Gardens. OK. Um, look, why don't we just meet outside in ten minutes? Don't worry. We'll find him. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, darling, it's me. I know you're angry and upset with me, but please call me and we can talk about it, I promise. So you're saying that... You bought the watch initially as a present for your husband. And then when you split up, you, you, you got rid of it? Yeah. You mean you sold it? No, um, I threw it away. I, I chucked it in a bin. 
you threw an expensive watch away rather than sell it or give it to someone else as a present. Yeah. It's rather impulsive, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd had a couple of drinks and I was pretty upset, but yeah, I think thinking back on it, it was a stupid thing to do. Well, as you uh, don't have the watch anymore, um, perhaps you could confirm something from Miss Winter's statement. There was an inscription on the back. Can you remember what it said? Um, all I can uh, really remember, there was a name. Rick, I think. Right. Thanks for your help. We'll be in touch if there's uh, any more news. Uh, Sam isn't here, is he? Uh, no. Why? Is everything OK? Yeah, Natasha called. Uh, Sam's gone missing. I thought he might have come here. No, I've been here all day. Sorry. It's all right. It's not your fault. How are you getting on with all of this stuff? Yeah, made a start. Well, I'd better go. Keep looking for him. Well, I'll, I'll come with you. No, no, no. Uh, why don't you just stay here? You know, in case he shows up. All right, well, I'll call you if he does show up. Thanks. Can you drink that? It's pretty much half tea, half sugar. Yeah, well, that's how I like it. Hot and sweet. Remind you of anyone? Yeah, your brother. Hey, Judas! What? Are you talking to me? Do you know where I've just come from? Uh, I'm guessing probably not from an anger management class. I've come from that leisure centre. I went down there last week and I got talking to all them gym buddies and they were well interested in my double glammy products. And now, when I go back, I find out they've already bought from you. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were sniffing around there. And why did you leave it so long before you could make some sales? Because I've got five kids to look after, and I've got to feed them, I've got to clothe them, and now I've got even less money to do it, and it's all thanks to you, so yeah, cheers, me. Hey, guys. You all right? No! I'm flaming not! <laughs> Forgot how fast this you can get sometimes. Oh, that was nothing. I've seen a batter two blokes in a fight once. Almost felt sorry for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took your advice, by the way, about making things up with Billy. Oh, yeah? So what's the plan? Oh, I just texted him and said, let's have a takeaway and a night in. Lucky you. I've got Sean and my mum fighting about what to watch on the box and then arguing about who's had fillers and who's had boob jobs. Anyway, have fun. Mm. Yeah, it's me. I just fancy earning a bit more money. No sign of him, sorry. What am I going to do? What if something's happened to him? He's a bright kid. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm going to call the police again, see if they've heard anything. Oh, wait a minute. I don't believe it. What's up? Look like you've seen a ghost. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Uh, he was with me. He said you dropped him off at the house. What's happened? Can you not just tell me now? No, I can't. I've already told you I can't keep meeting up with you. It's not right. I'm sorry, but... OK. OK, just don't get upset. Where are you? Yeah, OK, I'll, um, I'll be there as soon as I can. Everything OK? No, that, that was Will. Look, he needs to see me and he says it's urgent. Can you cover for me in case Nick gets back? Sure. What about Billy? Weren't you supposed to be seeing him? Maybe she'd give him a call. You should say what? He doesn't know about Will, does he? And anyway, I can't. He's in a meeting. Look, you go and see Will and I'll go up to the flat and tell Billy that there's been some sort of emergency. Like what? I don't know. Um, we'll say that your mate's, mate's been in a car accident and you've... Come to see him. Yeah, okay. 
And thanks. I really appreciate it. Don't worry. My pleasure. Hello, huh? afternoon. We're just reading an article about the police searching those local woods. Got a bad feeling in my water. It won't be long before they're digging something up, and I'm not talking turnips or truffles. Is that right? I could be mistaken, but I'm uh, sensing a slight air of hostility emanating from your general direction. You lied to me. You said if I went up that bacon factory and told the coppers about that watch I found up there, I'd get a reward. And what did I get? Sweet F.A. Well, but you did get some money when you sold it. Yeah, 50 quid off Sarah. Well, that's not the point. Well, at least you did the right thing. Doesn't that give you a warm, rosy feeling inside? No, cos not only did you waste four hours of my life, you also turned me into a snitch, like you. Well, we obviously have very different moral compasses. So, without further ado, I shall bid you adieu. You. Uh, you can have that if you want. It's free, you plank. It's the thought that counts, honestly. Hello! Service! Oh, where the flaming hell is everyone? I've got things to do. I think Nina's just popped upstairs. What, to polish her coffin? Huh? And Bernie, sorry, I couldn't help overhearing you just then talking to Brian. You said that you'd found a watch in the woods and you'd sold it to Sarah. Was it Sarah Barlow? Well, it's a long story, but yeah, pretty much. It's a really nice one and all. Your fellow weren't too happy about it, though. Gary, why not? Dunno. You'll have to ask him. He even got me to offer a hundred quid to buy it back off her, but she was having none of it. Weird. Yeah, it is. All right, big man. Guess what I'm off to? Remind me again why I should give it to us. Know what this is? CCTV footage from the beast drop. Right, what's that got to do with me? Well, as I'm sure you're aware, I had a bit of a break in yesterday. Guess who's on candid camera? That Barlow kid and your lovely but radio rental missus helping herself to my booze. So I'm just off down the police station to hand it over. I expect you'll be hearing from them soon. What do you think they're going to do? Arrest her? And she didn't even break in. Probably just get a fine. We'll leave that up to them to decide, eh? All right, all right. She doesn't need this on a plate at the minute, so... Why don't I just pay you for whatever she took and we we'll leave it at that? Not interested. You said it yourself, she's not well. Just give us a break, will you? Yeah, I'm sorry she's not well. And I'm sure being dragged down the station and questioned by the busies won't be great for her stress levels, but not my problem. All right, you win. Just tell me what I can do so you can change your mind. What can you do? Mm, let me think. How about this? Stop slagging me off in public and drop this campaign against the development. I'm not the only one who's doing it. Yeah, but you've got one of the biggest mouths, so give it a rest, eh? You kidding me? Only one way to find out. All right, fine. I'll do it, all right? I'll back off. Hand it over. I'll hang on to it if it's all the same. Can't be too careful, can you? Look, sorry to barge in like this, but Paul wanted me to give you a message. Right. Is everything OK? Not exactly, no. Um, mate of his has been hurt in a car crash. He's gone to see him. No. Do you, do you know who it is or how badly they were hurt? I don't, no. Anyway, like I said, Paul's gone to see him and um, he just wanted me to come and say sorry, but he's not going to make it this evening. Gather you two had a nice, cosy night in planned or something. Oh, only once summer slumps off to a bedroom, I've just, I've just ordered us as a takeaway. Let me guess. Indian, prawn starters for you, chicken tikka masala for Maine, and extra naan bread? No, we're having pizza, but nice try. What? Nothing. Just reminiscing, you know. Oh, just a text from Summer. She'll be home soon. Do you want to stay and have something to eat with this? Oh, it's nice of you to offer, and um, it's a tempting idea, but I don't think I'm just ready for that quite yet. Well, I, I, I didn't mean anything by it. No, I know. Just some other time, yeah? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I better go. 
Let myself out. Okay. You can't just go off like that without telling me where you are or who you're with. Yeah, he said. I get it. Okay? Hey, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I should have rung Nick, checked to see that everything was all right. It was just I was so pleased to be spending some time with him. It's not your fault. Anyway, um, I need to get some things from the shop, so uh, I'll give you some time together. Lovey, would you like me to bring you back a fizzy drink or some sweeties? It's all right, thanks. How about a comic? Do you like comics? David um, and Nick used to love comics. OK. Sorry about that. It's fine. My mum's the same. So you, uh, you didn't tell us where you ran off? I don't know. There must have been a reason. Something happened, someone upset you. Yeah. Who? Are you going to tell him? Sam's upset because I've been asked to oversee the opening of a salon. We're moving to London. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour.